The completely re-engineered, redesigned C8 Corvette. We all know the numbers of what this car can do. So let's just get it out there and drive it. We're in a 2022 Corvette C8, finally. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> all right, let's see what this was, let's see what this world's all about. Bad noise from a stock exhaust. Really impressed with how well this thing shifts. Right. Especially when you get on like the first couple of years. Yeah, third's fantastic. Fourth's got some good grunt. <laughs> this thing is fun. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely point it anywhere you want to go, it's going to go for sure. Yeah, this is very compliant. A little dab of brakes there. I can already feel it understeers a smidge. Yeah. It definitely it likes to the, push. The wheels too. So it's a possibility. Big, it might be a bigger, a bigger Seats feel a little more comfortable than what the C7s were. Right. So uh, the, the, uh, I can't remember the, the exact model, but they're not the base seats. They're not the top of line seats. I was going to say the, the bolsterings, right. it's more comfortable right. I, as far as uh, hard driving goes. They do allow a little bit of slippage. Right. Uh, so if you're going hard on them, yeah, they're a little, little slick, but not too bad. I'm just amazed by the smoothness of this transmission. It's very, very easy. Like the, very quick too. yeah, snoo super snooper, <laughs> super quick. We're in what? Are we in track right now? Yeah. Yeah, we're in track mode. So yeah. it's the most harsh of shifts. Right. That's for you now. <laughs> camera oh, yeah. <laughs> driving this new c8 it felt competent and it wasn't too much of any one thing meaning it felt very balanced from the power delivery to the brakes even though they are a bit lacking in my opinion they do a decent job at stopping you the interior is a massive step up in quality versus the c7 even one equipped with a 3lt package the fit and finish seems better Yes, there are some plastic bits that could have used nicer materials like the buttons, the way they feel. They're very plastic and cheap feeling, uh, but they do not detract from the overall aesthetics. I also found the interior to feel rather cramped. I say it's cramped because it's a very cockpit style layout where everything in the car is very driver centric. And it feels this way because of the massive run of buttons down the center console that is very intrusive to the center of the cabin. While the control screen is very nice and so is the dash, I do feel the control screen, it was just kind of laid in there and it lacks a level of refinement that the rest of the interior tries to show. I do find it funny that while you can put the top down while outside the car with a push of a button on the key fob, you actually have to get back in the car in order to put it up. Overall, this Corvette C8 is another great example of what the US car manufacturers can do when making a sports car. Now, isn't it exotic? No, not even a little bit. But when you see it on the road, you certainly notice it and go, wow. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And you know what? I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.